today from Ford Field in Detroit. This is the National Football League. Jared Goff and the Detroit Lions taking on Daniel Jones and the New York Giants. First open in 2002. There's a look inside Ford Field here in downtown Detroit, the Motor City. Today we've got an intriguing NFC matchup lined up here as it'll be the New York Giants taking on the Detroit Lions. Kicker Graham Gano set to put his foot into this one. And we are underway from Ford Field. Taken at the goal line. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Well, the Lions offense getting ready to go to work here. And under center, a man whose career has been rejuvenated a bit as of late. And season number eight now out of Cal, it's Jared Goff. Rumors of golf demise? Greatly exaggerated, it seems. Boy, what a big year he had last year. 29 touchdowns. It led the Lions to their first winning season since 2017. Under his leadership, the Lions expect to make the playoffs for the first time in a few seasons. Goff going to look to throw right away. A little short pass here taken in by Laporta. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. Give him three there on the first play of the game, and it's second down. Well, it certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense, and guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, and some toughness to go across the middle, you put it all together, you get a heck of a tight end candidate. Back to throw, golf. That's going to be caught by Josh Reynolds. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. An early test, two plays in, this is third and two. Gone. Completing it here to Marvin Jones. And he is gonna have the Lions first down and he's gonna have it by plenty, able to get eight yards there on third and two. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed, picking up the first. <laughs> On first down, gone. All right, rifles one, and that's gonna be intercepted. Picked off by Xavier McKinney. And the Giants will take over here as they get it up to the 43-yard line. 
Offensively, a far from ideal start there with a pick on the opening drive. Yeah, not exactly what they were looking for. We know that. That's pretty obvious. The beauty, though, is it's happening early. If they don't panic, they don't compound this problem, they've got a long way to go and a chance to get back in it. The Giants ready to go now on offense, and under center is the man in possession of a new contract for 2023 and beyond. In his fifth season now, Daniel Jones. Playing for his Giants career, Jones' best season as a starter didn't come with huge numbers as a passer. He was just the guy his team needed him to be, someone who could threaten the defense throwing it, and especially as a runner. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their own 43. They'll try and start this drive in the air. They'll get this out to Barkley complete. Solid way to start the drive, 13 yards, picking up the first. Nice little nifty play for him there. Yeah, that's the ability to read a defense and utilize players that don't often get picked up in coverage easily. And I'm talking about being able to use the backs out of the backfield. Because I know that when I used to cover, hey, we got everybody cut. Oh, he just snuck out there, and they just got a nice first down there. What do we love to say? Get those backs into space, right? And they were able to do that there. Nice pickup on first down. First down for the Giants as they pick up 12. So they give up the completion there. But defensively, Charles, you're going up against a quarterback here who's had some moments, but really a lot of ups and downs in the early part of his career. What's the plan against a guy like this? Well, you want to rattle him first and foremost. Bring some people at him, a couple extra guys in the pocket, see if he can handle it. The second thing, you want to make him think. Show him one look, go to another, disguise a few things, make him throw into what you call your defensive traps and try and make some good plays on the ball and get a few takeaways. 12 yards that time for number 12 as they move the chains. Really been an ideal start for them. They get the turnover on the opening possession. Now here they are moving the ball straight down the field on their first drive. And that feels good, but you know on their side of the field, all they're thinking is finish this drive off because they took it away, right? So now you've got them back on their heels a little bit. Now go down, put a touchdown on them. Look out, you've won the mental battle early in the game, and that may carry over for you. I like the call. It looked like the right time to dial up a running back screen. But this one got disrupted right from the start and ends up falling incomplete. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Throwing Jones. He'll find Hodgins there complete. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. They'll come to the line here, needing nine yards to pick up the first. Now Jones. And this is going to be intercepted. It's Brian Branch with it. And the Lions are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. And that felt like a little extra pressure on that third down attempt, and their mistake cost them points because they're inside the red zone. So you know you've got at least a field goal waiting for you. And in this case, they end up with nothing. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. Well, they were intercepted the first time they had the football, but now they get it back, and it's still 0-0. And because of that, you know what the thought process is? Interception. What interception? It didn't really happen because they gave up no points. So go back on the attack. Go back and run the offense you believe will be successful. Find your playmakers and give them the football. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Pass incomplete. When it's well executed, a wide receiver screen can often be a thing of beauty, but so many things have to go right in order to complete it. Blocking out in front, timing of the quarterback with the receiver, and oftentimes everything gets set, and guess what? They drop the football. After the incompletion, they'll try once more from the 20-yard line on second and 10. They'll go with a rookie from Alabama. It's Jameer Gibbs. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. He had to fight for every yard on that run. Shook himself free of a tackle and kept fighting, even with the rest of the defense closing in on him. That's the kind of effort you'll take every single time. 
And five in the secondary now for the Giants on third down. Here's Goff. He's got his tight end. That's the Porter with it. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. Now Goff on first down. This to Laporta, right side. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Montgomery with a good game there, and he broke 800 yards for the Bears' NFL best ground game last season. Divisional rival Detroit took notice and brought him in to boost their growing offense. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now. First and 10 at the 47. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. Here's a fake on the jet sweep, and instead a give up the middle. And yeah, nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. You don't see that a ton, do you, with a cornerback coming over to the middle of the field to make a run tackle? That's someone with a ton of confidence to feel like nothing is pressuring him on his side of the field. Sees that the ball's moved to the middle and just sprints over there to help out. He ends up getting the tackle. Well, and he can't get away from the pressure the Giants get there. Leonard Williams, the former number six overall pick, got the sack that time. They've gobbled up over 30 yards of turf so far, but a sack knocks them backwards. And that interrupts the momentum they were building. Good opportunity for the defense to escape this drive before they get to the end zone. So now following the sack, Goff and the Lions needing to come up with something here on third and long. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. So it doesn't look like they're going to be able to build off the turnover. Well, the defense certainly did its part. It got them the football. But you're exactly right. It looks like they're going to have to punt this one away. And it's not a turnover, but doesn't it feel like one after grabbing the momentum with the defensive play? Yeah, and they had all that momentum after getting the football, and now zapped right back in the other direction. And here now the punter, Fox, as he sends this one away. 37 yards on the punt with no return. And it'll be Giant football first and 10. So the Giants getting the football back here for their second drive. A big mistake last time they were on the field, tossing that interception inside the red zone and really taking away what had been a pretty successful drive up to that point. Yeah, and I don't think there's any question about it. As they head out on the field for this drive, that whole offensive unit is just thinking redemption. You know, they moved it really well, didn't pay it off. This time, they want to make sure that ball ends up in the end zone, and they're the ones possessing it. Now Jones throwing to start the drive. Shoves him aside. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. It's funny, throughout the time that we've been together when we talk with running backs about the ability to catch the ball, their eyes light up when they talk about open field and having one-on-one -on -one matchups, don't they? Yeah, they do. And that's the reason why. What we just saw, shedding those tackles, and that's what they're used to doing. It is, and it starts at the beginning of the play. One-on-one -on -one matchup if someone's trying to cover them, but they also like those one-on-ones downfield after the catch when they're running with the ball. They think they're going to win those, too. Counting down toward the midway point in quarter one. 
Now the NFC's leading rusher a season ago. Here's Saquon Barkley. And this will be a Giants first down as he's got this up to about the 34-yard line. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run. And let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down. Otherwise, it's going to be a long afternoon. So a solid run by Saquon Barkley and another first and ten here. Looking to throw. Jones. And Waller taking it in over the middle. They'll wind up getting seven on the play at its second down. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on. And I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. On second down, here's the option. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up a third down. Well, for that being an option play, there really weren't too many options available for him, were there? No, there weren't, and at least he was able to get back to the line of scrimmage, so they didn't lose anything, but you're exactly right. Nowhere to go. The heavy set out there. Three tight ends in the formation for third and three. They'll try to run for it with Barkley, and he's got the first down yardage as he brings us up to the 47. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. well. It wasn't a goal line situation, but how about the goal line formation on third and short? They went ahead and went heavy. No surprise on who was going to get the football. How about the power exhibited there? Yeah, that was just put a hat on a hat, drive forward. Nice job to pick it up. A couple of first downs on the drive already as they'll go from the 47 now on first down. They'll run it again with Barkley. And he's going to get it across the midfield stripe into Lion territory. A good run there on first down and it'll leave them with a second and two. Now you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. On second down, here's Barkley. And he'll get it down here to the 43. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. And I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. They'll find his tight end. That's Waller. 12 yards that time for number 12 as they move the chains. And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. On first down, Jones. They'll set up the screen to Barkley. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. And good yardage there on first down because sometimes all you need to do on the screen is get one key block. That might set your man free, and that was pretty good pursuit to the football defensively, or it could have gone for more. From the 23, here's second down and two. They go back to the ground now with Barkley. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. This has been a good drive so far, and it's been the running game for the most part that's powered them down there. Another nice burst there, picking up a first down. Now it's first and 10, as you said, in the red zone. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Back to throw. Jones. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And the Giants are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. 
And coming into this ball game, this was an offense that wasn't just talking about the notion of ball control. They were preaching it. They want to win the time of possession battle, and they've done so here. This drive's taken up quite a bit in the first quarter. Now they are set up first and goal. Now a play fake here on first down. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. As a corner, you have to be able to run with guys step for step downfield and man coverage and make up ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. Line of scrimmage, again the four-yard line, second and goal. Looking to throw, Jones. Flushed out, and he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Daniel Jones taking it in from four yards out. And the Giants get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. And Daniel Jones has always been an integral part of his team's run game. Five touchdowns on the ground in the first three years. Had seven last season. So even if it's not a called quarterback run, he understands where the goal line is and often will carry it himself. Graham Gano on for the extra point. It's up, it's good, and the Giants have a 7-0 lead. So that drive spans 13 plays, and it results in a four-yard touchdown run. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. Here comes Khalif Raymond from his end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. And Detroit getting set to go now. And the results for them have not been strong to this point. Two drives have ended in a turnover and then a punt. So would it be too snarky for me to say that they've shown improvement? Because you had two, oh. two drives with turnovers. <laughs> now they punted it away, so at least they didn't turn it over. So that's good, right? You're going to get some angry users <laughs> reaching out to you on social media. Well, I don't mean to be. I was actually looking for the positive. Silver lining, you know. Goff in this Lions offense set for a first and 10 at their own 26. To throw is gone. A little short pass here taken in by Laporta. So give them five yards there on the pitch and catch, and that'll bring up second down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here, and what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while, get at least two first downs, give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. From the 32-yard line now, here's second and five. Out of the gun, they'll give to Gibbs. And he'll scratch out only about a yard up to the 32. Well, we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Now it's gone. And that ball incomplete, nearly intercepted. Took a chance with that one. It'll lead to a fourth down. Well, based on what we've seen so far, I don't think you can even call this an off day anymore, partner, because this group we're watching, they are totally out of rhythm, trying to get their game plan up and running. That zero on the scoreboard is glaring down at them with every incompletion. Jack Fox out to punt here on fourth down. A 
A 40-yard punt, no return. And that will come the offense as they take over. The New York set to take the field. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. Throwing to start the drive. Jones. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Ten yards there to start the drive and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. And that's not a play that you see all that often at the start of a drive, but some teams, they don't mind doing it. And that one, well sold by the offensive linemen. They showed the pass, and then they got out into space, able to get some good blocks downfield and allow the play to be successful. Tackle there by Alex Anzalone. If you're a coach, you'll absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. Ball at the 40 here for second and five. Again, it's Barkley. And it'll be a minimum pickup here as it will take us to the end of the first quarter. After one, 7 nothing on EA Sports. here looking for three yards to pick up the first on third down Barkley and he is going to lose yardage here that'll back him up two yards and also bring up fourth with his size he's a tough man to bring down but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage Fourth down, here's Jamie Gillen on to punt. Back deep, Khalif Raymond. Fielded just inside the 20. Nice punt, but good work on the return to get back 11 yards. And the Lions will take over. Here's the Detroit offense now as they head back out onto the field. And still no points on the scoreboard. You're coming off of the three and out. They're just looking for anything to grab onto right now, aren't they? I'm wondering if someone's going to take charge in the huddle. You know, we always look at look to the quarterback, but sometimes it's another player on the team, a star, a veteran, someone with some excitement and energy. It's like, all right, guys, let's shake things up and let's go because they still have an opportunity to make things happen. Shake it off. Goff in this Lions offense set for a first and 10. Just shy of the 30. He'll begin by dropping it off to Montgomery. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Yeah, another negative play in an early down situation. This one to start the drive. You're putting a lot of pressure on your quarterback to bail you out when you're in second and long yardage. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Goff now looking to throw. Reynolds with a catch out on the right side. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. Five yards, now it's third and five. People worry about throwing the out route because often it can get jumped, and that can turn into an either an incompletion or an interception. But not on that one. Everything came together, and he catches it and goes over the sideline. A shotgun snap for Goff. 
Now that'll be caught by St. Brown. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. The result, only four yards there on the play. And that's going to make it fourth down. Well, it looks like they got what they wanted. They got the completion, but they weren't able to break any tackles or gain nearly enough yardage to pick up the first down. Now to be fourth and short. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And they will take over first and 10. And New York set to take the field. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. In motion, Slayton. They'll start out on the ground at Saquon Barkley. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. 46 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. After a couple of seasons of battling injuries, the former number two overall pick returned to Pro Bowl form with over 1,300 yards and 10 touchdowns. Just as important, played 16 games and handled over 350 touches, essentially carrying the Giants' offense. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Back to throw. Jones. He'll find Paris Campbell. That's complete. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. So the completion good for just three. And it'll be second down. Gardner took a while for him to lock onto a receiver, and he finally found his man coming left to right across the formation. But by the time he got the ball to him, not much of a chance to turn up field and make anything out of it. From the 38 now, here's second down at seven. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. Jones with a handoff to Barkley. And he'll muscle his way up to the 43 for a pickup of right around five. Not a ton of room available on that one, but he made use of what space was available and gained decent yardage. And this offense on third down today, just one for three thus far. Here it's third and two. They'll go to Barkley again. And Barkley did not get there. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. Well, that's not an easy play for a defensive end because most of his responsibility has him getting upfield and working. But how about his vision to see where the play was going, crashed down inside, and tackled him for a loss. Jamie Gillen. That'll be a 41-yard punt, just one yard on the return. And the Lions are going to take over with a long field ahead and a first and 10. And Detroit back in possession of the football. And three and out on the last drive. No points on the scoreboard. A little soul-searching now? I would say so, and they need to help out their defense a little bit. They've had to be on the yeah, field a lot position. more than normal, put them in some tough spots, but what's the old adage? When you get another chance, it gives you a better chance to do it right. Goff in this Lions offense, set for a first and 10. At their own 13. Out of the gun, Goff. The left side completion to Jones. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. To win any route, you've got to break down the defender, and that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route. On 
first and ten. Golf. And the giant rush gets home as down he goes. Leonard Williams. That is now two sacks for him here in this first half. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense, so he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. So after the sack, a scenario you certainly don't work on too often. Second and 24. Now Goff. Across the middle, he's got it complete to St. Brown. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Third and long. It's gone. He gets this out wide to Gibbs. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. A gain of nine, not enough, and it's fourth down. We can make this one pretty simple. Walk the ball of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked it down to force a fourth down? Fourth down, Jack Fox on to punt for Detroit. <laughs> 43 yards on the punt, return of four, and it will be first and ten as they take over. Saquon Barkley and the Giants offense set to kick off their next drive. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter. Been nice and effective for them, hasn't he? He has definitely been dependable and really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here because anytime you're on a pace that's going to approach 100 yards, you've really done some damage in an NFL game. And now he's looking just to add to his totals. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10, just shy of the 30. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Finding Sterling Shepard for his first catch. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. Big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. Catch made here by Campbell. And he'll take this from 147 yard line to the other. A gain of six. They were in zone defensively, went with a crossing route. It's always interesting to watch that chess match. Yeah, and I think safeties don't mind crossing routes against zone because eventually you're going to run into their territory. And that's when they lick their chops in order to get the big hit or a play on the ball. Offensively, nice execution to find a hole, make the catch. On the draw, this is Barkley. And he's going to be hemmed in and brought down right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what will be a third and four. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Jones from the gun on third down. Jones in trouble here, and down he goes. Levi Anzarike charging in and finishing off the sack. A good scheme and an early win for this pass rush. They got back there before he could work through his entire progression and ended that play early. On 
on is Jamie Gillen to punt this one away. And a great job here. This is going to turn out to be a beauty. This is marked down at about the three-yard line. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line. Absolutely ideal. And from that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five. Superb. They'll start on the ground with Montgomery. And he'll manage to pick up about four in second down. And that's frustrating for a defense because they've got him pinned down deep. And on the first play, they give up a run that keeps an offense on schedule. Yeah, because three to four yards, that's all you're looking for right there, right? That's absolutely perfect, really, as a play call. You get three to four yards on first down. That's what they talk about to us all the time, about being ahead of the chains or on target, ahead of schedule. They were after that run. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Goff now to throw. Over the middle and take it in by Laporta. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gets him a first down. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Thanks to that last play, a little more room to operate. First and 10 at the 18. They'll try the middle with Montgomery. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. From the 22 now, here's second and six. Goff now looks to throw. He'll get this underneath to Montgomery. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. Call it a gain of six on the play. And that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. They'll run it. Here's Montgomery. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. The five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. I don't know about you, but that almost felt like old-time football there. Third and two is not necessarily just a running down anymore. A lot of times they want to throw the ball. They went back to the roots and powered forward and got the first down. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Here's Goff. He completes it to Jones. That's good. The completion there for seven yards, and it's second down. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helped have a guy who could turn it loose, and boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. Ball on the 40 now. Here's second and three. Here's gone. That's complete to the Porta. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. Oh, that's a nice job of clearing space in the middle of the field for your tight end. He's going to start behind the line and run an angle route, hoping to kind of get lost in the middle of the field. And this is put right on him, and he's able to pick up a first down. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now. First and 10 at the 48-yard line. Now gone. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete. 
They have their backs up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple of more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Golf. And that one going to come up short. Low throw. But what looked like a march to the end zone has hit a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Throwing again is gone. And he will go down outside of the pocket for a sack. Tried to get away but could not. Sean Robinson drops him for a loss of ten. And it's going to be fourth and long. These sacks now, they're starting to pile up, Charles. And that front seven defensively, They've had their way with this offensive line. And I think at this stage, we have to start thinking about different play calls. We've got to start helping this quarterback out because the entire game, he's been under siege. I don't care what the down and distance, they've got to get the ball out of his hands a lot quicker. Here's Jack Fox now as he's on for the fifth time here today. This is taken at the 15. There will be a 39-yard punt, no return. And now out come the Giants. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession of the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with the slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their own 16. They're throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up, not that time. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Looking to throw. Jones. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field, and here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. to throw here on first down. And that's complete to Shepard. A good pick up there, a 22. <laughs> Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. Again, he'll drop to throw. And his pass incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. 
They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And he'll go underneath here to Breida. And he is down at the 48. A pickup of four that started at 148-yard line and ended at the other. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. They'll look to throw again. A short one here secured by the tight end, Waller. Only able to gain a couple there. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. Pardon, I think that completion takes the definition of dink and dunk to a different level, doesn't it? It does, and the defense was right. They're kind of played into their hands. So look at this. Here's the field goal unit coming out. And he is going to need to bomb this one. This was the old NFL record distance for decades, a 63-yard attempt. And that one's not going to get there. Not enough juice and ambitious effort, but it's well short. And this will remain a one-touchdown game. Here's the Lion offense now as they get ready to take over. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. Meanwhile, Goff's throw here into the hands of Jones. Now he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Ah, that's tough to play zone defense when they can just curl up right there in front of you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, hey, we can talk about finding the soft spot defensively. How do you make sure they don't find the soft spot like they did there? Tough to do because what they normally will do is run routes that'll pull you out of that spot that they want to get into. That's what we call not taking the cheese, right? Don't go for the mousetrap. But it's hard to do because when you see a guy cutting that in that direction, you tend to go towards him. Gone. Setting up the screen. This is Gibbs. And he gets it down to the 32. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Back to throw, gone. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. No sense risking anything there on first down, even though he's still in the pocket. He had a receiver out to his side, so he'll just put that in a spot where the only people who could make a play on it are the trainers and the coaches. Well done. Here's second and 10 now from about the 32. Again, gone. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. Now a battle for the football. It's caught. It's a touchdown. Marvin Jones with an acrobatic catch. And the Lions are an extra point away from tying the ball game here in the final minute of the first half. Got a little time left on the clock, so on the other side, they're thinking, gosh, we'd like to get that lead right back. Yeah, thanks for pointing that out. Here I am <laughs> going ahead and tapping out the first half. Well, There's still time. Way. They've got to make a decision about what they want to do on the kickoff, where they want to let their return guy touch it. Riley Patterson now for the extra point. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. So that drive, four plays, and it's capped off by a touchdown for the Lions.
So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. The Giants now going to take over late in this first half. And with 40 seconds to go, that's, you'd think, time enough to try to mount a drive should they decide to do so. Now Jones eluding the pressure right. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Here's second and a yard. Throwing Jones. And he'll get this underneath, dropping it off for Barkley. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Back to throw. Jones. Short throw going to be caught by Waller. The Giants going to burn their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. So on trots the field goal unit, and wow, this is going to be a challenge here. And this kick is not going to be close. It's well short, well right to boot. And this game will remain tied here in quarter number two. two problems as I see it. First, you missed the kick, which granted was a long one. But second, you set the other guys up with great field position and enough time to maybe get downfield and get a field goal attempt of their own. Now Goff on first down. Looking middle and that's complete. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. This will be from 56 yards out. And this won't get there, won't be on line either. It's no good, off to the right, and this game will remain tied here in quarter number two. And anytime you see a kicker trot out to try one from 56 yards, you know everything's gotta come off perfectly for it to have a chance. If the laces aren't quite right, if he doesn't hit the fat part of the ball just right, it's unlikely to go through, and that one winds up no good. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. And maybe a chance for a quick completion and then a long field goal try. We'll see. That's caught by Waller out left side. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. So a touchdown apiece. That's what we have to show at halftime as they head to the locker room. 7-7 seven, seven our score. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. 
All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome everyone to our brand new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. His guys have the lead as we'll hand it back over to our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. Set and ready to go for the second half. One touchdown apiece, 7-7 seven, seven our score. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. The Giants offense set to begin this third quarter. Well, the first half, very even. I mean, really, in all facets, this ball game tied, Charles. So as we start the third quarter, curious to see what the second half brings us. Certainly am. I'm with you on that one. And we all know a lot of coaches from the NFL all the way down to the Pee Wee level. They love to spin it to their teams. Hey, we're starting a brand new shorter ball game. It's all even. Let's go out and seize it. This is ours. Jones now. On first and ten. Come back route, and he's got it to Shepard. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. Partner, this is one of the best routes anyone can have in their offensive playbook. Tough to defend because you think it's a go route, and then he breaks it back on the comeback. But there's one other thing you need as well. A well-thrown ball. Exactly right. You have a guy who has some precision in throwing the football because of the timing of the route. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. Barkley inside handoff. And this will be a Giants first down as he's got this up to the 45-yard line. When he runs, he seems to do a nice job of knowing when to be patient and find the hole, and then when the hole is there, he goes quickly. You're exactly right. He knows how to just take off, but you know what else? Brings a little thump with him, doesn't he? He does. He packs the boom at the end of the run and finishes it going forward. That's what you want to see out of your backs. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Jones fakes the give to Barkley. And under the Lions pressure, he's brought down. Flying in for that sack, Aiden Hutchinson. And in a flash, Aiden Hutchinson gets into the backfield and puts the quarterback on the deck. And he wasted no time embracing his role as the face of his hometown franchise as a rookie. Nine and a half sacks, a surprising three interceptions, and rookie of the year runner-up mention. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Up the middle with Barkley. And he's going to get it across the midfield stripe into Lion territory. 68 yards rushing for him now to this point. This drive is turning into an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. Here's Jones to throw on third down. And that one complete to Hodgins. And he'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. Give him 22 there on the third down conversion. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start. But they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive.
Now Jones throwing on first down. A short one here secured by the tight end Waller. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple, and it's second down. In today's NFL, we're accustomed to the tight end getting downfield and creating plays and wreaking a little havoc in the secondary. Not on this one, though. They diagnosed that one really well. Tried the dump off, lost yardage. Behind the chain, second and 12. Looking to throw, Jones. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. Ali McNeil, what an effort to get in there and drop him. I thought there at the end he may have had a chance to release that, but that pocket closed a little too quickly, and down he went. Yeah, he was certainly trying to do everything he could to extend the life of the play, probably counting in his head. One, two, and then he ran out of time. After that sack, third and long, tough spot for Jones and the Giants. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Gets this to Campbell out on the right side. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. It'll be a gain of 12, but it will also lead to fourth down. Well, that's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath by all means. So Jones off, Graham Gano on here for the New York Giants field goal. It'll be from the right hash, and it'll be a 36-yarder. Gano's kick is good, and they take the lead here now at 10-7. They don't get a touchdown here on the opening drive of the third quarter, but I think maybe you still say mission accomplished as they come away with the lead. No, absolutely. You keep the pressure on, right? You go downfield, get some points up on the board, and hope that you've motivated your defense to take the field and hold that lead. After knocking through the field goal, here's Gano back out there now for the kickoff. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. So we get a look at the Lions offense as they get ready for their first possession of the second half. And they find themselves down on the scoreboard following the field goal a moment ago. And I think even though they trail in the game now, I would consider that a win for their defense. And that's probably what they're telling the offense when they get to the bench. Hey, the onus is on you guys now. Get back out there and get us the lead back. Goff in this Lions offense set for a first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. Here's Goff. And this complete to Mitchell. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. And it's pretty evident that this passing game has been frustrated so far. They haven't really moved the ball the way we might have expected, but this is a good pickup here for the first down. First down, here's the run with Montgomery. And he takes it past the 45 and down at the 46. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Running lanes run a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. From the 46, here's second down and five. To throw is gone. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. 
picked off by Xavier McKinney. And the Giants are in great shape here as they take over at their 46-yard line. I tell you, Brandon, it seems like this guy's been all over the field so far. That's his second interception of the game. And so much of playing defense in the NFL, especially when it comes to defending the pass, is all about positioning and technique. And this is fantastic work on both fronts there. Here's the giant offense now as they get ready to take over here. They start near midfield following the interception as they begin first and ten. Good starting field position for the New York Giants here as they come up first and ten at their own 46. They begin with a run by Barkley. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. From just shy of midfield, here's a second and seven. Back to throw, Jones. That is caught downfield, it's Waller. 22 yards there, a first down. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days, but you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target, and that's how he'll shred a defense. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 as they're down to the 29-yard line. And the ball is out. Jones got hit and lost it. And that ball popped free. We can hear it all the way up here. Those guys down on the field alerting everyone of the fumble. He's lucky that his offensive mates picked him up and jumped on it. Yeah, and you have to think to yourself, and I'm sure they've been echoing it on the sideline and into the huddle. Guys, we have the lead. Just take care of the football. Don't make it easier for them to start to make a comeback. The fumble on first down now. Here's second down. They'll send a receiver in motion to the right. Here's a give to Barkley. He winds up getting only a couple there. Down to the 29. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. And the Lions going with an extra DB here on third down. Operating from the gun, Jones. And this is going to be incomplete. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. Just unable to connect, so the play results in no game. So Jones off, Graham Gano on here for the New York Giants field goal. From the left hash, this from 46. Gano's kick is good, and the lead stretches to six here. It's 13 7. So his second field goal now here in this third quarter. The first one got him the lead, and this one adds to it, but by no means is this one locked down. This is very much anyone's game. Knocking through the field goal. Here's Gano back out there now for the kickoff. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Detroit's offense ready to take over. 
So now, Charles, this drive, maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. To Montgomery to begin the drive. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. I have to think a major focus at a halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. So give him two yards there on the completion. And this will wind up being a third and three. Timing is so important on a route like this because he's going to line up out right, then cut straight across the field. I think the ball might have come out a count or two too late because by the time he was able to secure it, not much of a chance to turn it upfield. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Up the middle, it's Montgomery, and he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. And a loss of three to bring up four. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. Here comes the Lions punter now, as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. A 40-yard punt, one yard on the return, and it'll be giant football first and 10. New York's offense back out there and set to go. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? right. <laughs> not one that I've ever met. A throw left side to start out. That's complete. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. And as a quarterback, you always want to exploit gaps in the defense, and he finds one here. Crossing route, working from right to left across the field. And once you get defenders going in the wrong direction, it is awfully hard for them to pivot back, and you end up getting the first down. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Looking to throw. Jones, short throw, going to be caught by Waller. It's a gain of 11 and a giant first down. Well, that's always a good place to throw it just because he's one of the biggest targets not only on this team but in the National Football League. And you and I both know the quarterbacks love these large body tight ends, and why not? Nowadays, they're really wide receivers who are just taller and have a little bit more weight. These guys catch the football, make big plays downfield. In the old days, we wanted them to block. Now coaches want them to catch the football first. So they'll get nothing out of that play, and it'll be second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained. So they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Second and 10. A handoff to Barkley. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. I thought he did a nice job there setting an edge and making sure nothing could get to the outside. But he decided that wasn't enough for him. Worked his way back inside and made the tackle on the ball carrier.
For the Lions, an extra DB in the game now here on third down. Operating from the gun, Jones. That's complete to his tight end, Waller. And this effort won't be enough as they rally up to stop him a couple of yards short. They'll get 10 there, but it leaves them just short for fourth down. There's another example what defensive coaches constantly preach, not allowing any run after the catch. They gave up a few more yards than they wanted to, but they were able to get him down quickly and force a fourth down. So look at this. Here's the field goal unit coming out. And he is going to need to bomb this one. And this will be spotted on the other side of the field. It's a 61-yard attempt. Gano's kick is good. And now it's a two-score game at 9, 16 to 7. Well, Charles, the NFL record is 66 yards. That was five shy of that, but only a handful of guys have ever connected from 61 or deeper, and he can add his name to the list. Yeah, more and more guys are trying it. That doesn't mean the success rate has gone up. That is a long kick. Guaranteed, when he turns on his phone after the game, a ton of congratulatory texts will be awaiting him. After knocking through the field goal, here's Gano back out there now for the kickoff. And it'll come out to the 25 as Raymond will elect not to bring it out. The Lions offense, they get ready to head back onto the field. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there was a quick three and out, then they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Goff in this Lions offense set for a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. Second and six, just inside the 30. Now it's gone. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. And they are going to set up shop at the 40-yard line. So their woes on offense continue. That's the second pick thrown here in the third quarter. And we know it was ill-advised, but that was an opportunity to help them get back into the game. Instead, he throws another interception, and now their task is even tougher. And New York set to take the field. Last time out, you remember their drive stalled, but thanks to their kicker, booted a long field goal to at least get them three. Now here, they'll try to do better and find the end zone. And in our experience, how much fun is it for coaches to know that they've got a kicker who can nail it from long distance? Now, the hard part is, as an offensive play caller, you don't want that in your head too much where you're relying on it, and he goes out and gets the job done for them. But I'm quite sure... He would be content to just kick extra points from here on out. Yeah, absolutely no question. I think his teammates would be okay with him just kicking the extra points as well. Romeo Aquara working his way in and getting the tackle for loss. That's a play to take note of there for the defense. I think in the future, if you're going to try and block him, maybe you get a guard to help double team him and try and steer him out of the play. They should have done it on that snap. The opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Back to throw. Jones. And his throw here is incomplete. The turnover put him in great field position. They don't want to squander it with third down coming up. No, not at all. And you know what else you do? You make your defense mad. Yeah. They got you the football, gave you a great opportunity. You got to cash in and get some points. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Looking to throw. Jones. And that is knocked away in the middle of the field and incomplete. They certainly had good starting field position on that drive, but couldn't do anything with it after three plays. 
have to admit that that's a disappointing end to excellent field position. When that drive started, they had six points that they were thinking about. So now they're going to send out the field goal unit to, as they say, fire away from long distance. And that is no good. He gave it a good run. That wasn't more than a foot or so wide to the left. And that'll keep this a nine-point game. So here come the Lions now. And this is a commentary on today's kickers and just how good they are that a coach would think about running his guy out there to try a 59-yarder. Here it backfires on them, but as a kicker, you have to appreciate the confidence that they showed in you. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. Drive starts with a run from Gibbs. And good space to operate there as he takes this down inside the 35-yard line. 16 yards right off the bat and a first down. Great run by Gibbs who surprised me by being picked so early in the draft. But the Lions knew when they had the chance to add a playmaker like him, they absolutely couldn't pass him up. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They'll fake the give. Now Goff. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Jones. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. From the 25, here's second down at a yard. Goff now looking to throw. A little short pass here taken in by Laporta. Seven catches for him now in this last one. A first down. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. zone now. Goff. And he'll just get rid of it. And a smart play there. He's probably saying, I wish I would have done that on the last drive instead of throwing the interception. So second and 10 now here in the third quarter from Detroit. Now Goff. And this throw incomplete. Well, the defender all over him that time, but it's going to lead to third down. One thing you hope to see out of a rookie tight end is a real concentration when the ball's in the air, and I'm not sure that he didn't, but he has to be prepared for people making a play on it when that ball's up for grabs. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. To the air again, Goff. This to Laporta, right side. And he is not gonna get to the marker as they stop him short at the 14. He'll go down as a gain of six, and it'll be fourth down. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they rallied and made the tackle. Patterson's kick is good. And that will finish off this third quarter of play. And they will not have time to get another play in here as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports.
Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. On the return, here's Gary Brightwell. And he won't quite make it to the 25. And the Giants ready to come out now. Their lead back down to one score after the field goal a moment ago. So they'll be looking to string together a few first downs, likely on the ground as they begin first and ten. Throwing to start the drive. Jones, a short one here, secured by the tight end, Waller. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven, past the 30 to the 32. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Now Saquon Barkley, and he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. 75 yards rushing now for Barkley. It's a first down. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with, and throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to, and it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. Now here's a throw that's complete. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. On second down, here's Barkley. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. I think we're seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to have on this game. They're a little bit slower, that front seven reacting to the football, almost like body blows in boxing. Slowing them down, and they're really starting to take over in this game. Jones on first down. Little out route here, complete to Shepard. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. Jones now on first and 10. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Campbell. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Back-to-back -back nice plays. 12 yards that time and a first down. And these guys certainly are not hiding what their intention is. They're absolutely showing it. They're definitely not going to sit on this lead here in the fourth quarter. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. They go back to the ground now with Barkley. He will push his way down to about the 14. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. Second down and eight. Back to throw. Jones. He's got Slayton on the slant. And the Giants are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six-yard line. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. 
Looking to throw. Jones. And it's caught. That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of five. Right there, he rose to the occasion late in a close game. It's something he thought about, dreamed about, and worked on throughout his career. Because in these types of situations, he wasn't going to allow extra coverage to keep him from getting the football. Second and goal from the one. Back to throw. Jones. And that is caught. He's got it for a giant touchdown. Darren Waller, a one-yard touchdown reception. And the Giants will add to their fourth quarter lead. Well, that's just how they drew it up, CD. His first read was there, got it to him quickly, and into the end zone. Absolutely excellent execution by all involved. And the coordinator, got to give him credit, found the perfect play call. Quarterback let it fly as soon as the target came free, and his guy made a nice catch. Just how you draw it up in practice and then execute it in the game. Jones throwing for it. And this one's caught. And their fourth quarter lead grows by a couple more. So they go with a pass there on the two-point try and able to convert it, Charles. And a good job by the offense figuring out their two-point play and using it well. It's interesting how people are using the strategy nowadays, though, isn't it? It really is, and I don't know how much that one, that particular play factored in, but with the PAT moving back in 15-16, that kind of changed things, didn't it? It's really a part of everyone's strategy now. When I talk with coaches and when we sit with them, they always talk about they actually have two-point periods in practice now, something they never really did before. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. So out now come the Lions. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize, like going to the county fair. You don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. Now a first down throw, gone. Over the middle complete, it's Jones. And he's gonna get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. Fourth quarter, every drive's so critical, and you figure may only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You got the first one for the second one to even matter. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. here. second and a yard from the 34. They'll bring the tight end in motion right. On second down, Montgomery. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Now, yes, a two-possession game, but a good chunk of time on the clock, so they have the ability still there to run it on second and short, but maybe they need to pick it up a bit. You're right. They did pick up the first down there, but they, as you mentioned, they have to pick up the pace now because it's a two-possession game. They've got to get there twice to make sure they have a chance to win. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Goff now to throw. A little short pass here taken in by Laporta. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling him almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Here's Goff now on second down. Slant pass. He's got Reynolds. The Lions passing game in sync now. They've got another first down. Good yardage on the completion there. When they look at the scoreboard, they do understand a field goal is not going to do them any good. 
My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. So the drive takes them into Giants territory now. First and 10 at the 38. Goff now looks to throw. And he's taken to the ground, but he was pulled down by the face mask. Here come the flags. And I believe this is going to be a first down. Well, certainly those are the types of mistakes they're trying to avoid as they attempt to protect this lead late in the game. And let's face it, they're hoping that this one doesn't cost them in a significant way. Yeah, one guy committed a penalty, but now the entire defense has to pay the price and try and rise up and overcome it. So a big penalty there on the face mask leads to first and ten. There's Gaw. Targets and finds Reynolds once more. It's another first down as they look his way again, this time 19 yards. Boy, everything clicking on this drive. He's four for four now, and that throw may be the best of the bunch. This offense is really humming, and they pick up another first down. the 13 now they work on first and 10. Go off throwing again. And he's wrapped up. Taken down. Back at the 25. Aziz Ojulari picks up his second sack of the afternoon. This defense, they just continue to feast. Five sacks now as a unit. It's been quite an afternoon getting to the quarterback. And we're seeing it come from a variety of places as well. Sometimes just the guys up front getting to them. Other times you add extra guys rushing the quarterback, twists and stunts. It's been a variety, and they've had no way of blocking them. Now that after the sack, it'll be interesting to see what they have planned for second and 23. Here's gone. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked up by the USC man, Adoree Jackson. This spot in the fourth quarter with that deficit had to throw the football. Unfortunately, there's the risk of big turnover. And you know you're going to be throwing against nickel, dime, all sorts of exotic defenses, but you have to do it anyway. Ordinarily, you might want to run the football a little bit, try and get them out of it. But as you noted, this time of the game, this point on the clock, had to throw it. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their own 17-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Johnson Gardner-Johnson with a pick. Partner, I think this will want to arrive very simply because he overestimated his arm strength and his ability to fit it anywhere he wants to. A lot of quarterbacks do that and often pay the price. And Detroit getting set to go now. The interception was a great starting point, but now they need points pretty quickly, down two scores. of first and 10 at the 38. Gibbs straight ahead and a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. 
Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. I think if they want to start getting back into this game, it behooves them to get better on first down. Yeah, certainly not what they were looking for there out of the opening play of this drive. So from the 37, here's a second down and nine. Now gone. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. Well, we've talked about it, CD, but it bears repeating. They are struggling to throw the football. All the interceptions and more incompletions. It just doesn't look like things are in sync out there. I would agree with that, and it's not a good day when you feel like an incomplete pass is almost a win for you because it wasn't intercepted. And I think the receivers now, when they're running their routes, they want to catch the ball, but they also want to make sure that the defenders don't take it away. That's good for nine yards as they convert on the third down play. And a two-score game, obviously, every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. First down, it's gone. And he wisely will throw that one away. And when you've thrown as many interceptions as he has in this one, you definitely start getting a little hesitant to throw the ball out wide because that's prime pick six territory. That time, he made sure the only guy who was going to catch it was sitting in the third row. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Throwing again is gone. And that's hauled in by St. Brown over the middle. Five yards, now it's third and five. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. And the Giants will go with six defensive backs here on third. Golf. And that will be incomplete. Well, how about the coverage we just saw him break out on third down? Dime defense, blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed, unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. They're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. They go ahead and snap it. Gone. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. The Lions turned away on fourth down. And the Giants are going to get the football back. So they really needed points here in a two-score game. Could not come away with anything there on fourth. And while we know they're a little bit discouraged here, they can't check out of this game. You and I have called a good number of games over the course of our career where we've seen these types of situations. Teams get the ball back, and that miracle does occur. So they can't let that dream go just yet. They have to get stout on defense here. Yeah, right now, really hoping for a turnover. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their own 23. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and it'll be second down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. From the 28, it's second and five. Looking to throw. Jones, catch made by Slayton. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. But when you're up by two scores in the fourth quarter and you're going to throw the football, expect to see a lot of man coverage because usually what comes along with man coverage 
is pressure. So if you're a play caller and you want to keep throwing the football, that's fine. Just make sure your offensive line understands they're going to get additional guys running at the quarterback. Now a play fake here on first down. He'll find his tight end. That's Waller. Short completion, just four yards, and that will bring up second down. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. Off the play fake. Jones going up top. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Going for the knockout blow right there. I think if I'm up two scores, I'd be worried about an interception, but playing this way is what got them this lead. So you may as well ride it out to the end. The offense on third down, they've converted just twice and have had plenty of opportunities. This will be third and six. And that's complete to Shepard. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 30. A gain of 22. Big hook up there. Forced to throw it on third down. The connection's going to keep the drive alive and also keep the clock moving. Yeah, and from a defensive perspective, didn't get a sack, didn't knock the ball free, didn't break up the pass. The clock keeps running on you. You're in a dire situation now. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 30-yard line. It's Barkley on the counter. Down to about the 22 here. 89 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. You can really tell right now both sides have amped up the aggressiveness. That time the offense winning the aggression battle. And the defense was obviously aiming for the football, maybe a little bit more so than the runner himself, and that's why he was able to break through and get the gain that he did. Second down, here's Barkley again. And he will get enough for a first down, and that will lead us to the two-minute warning. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. Call it a gain of seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. So they come up on second down, and they can get another run like we just saw. Would likely put an end to this thing. They'll run it again with Barkley. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Saquon Barkley, a nine-yard touchdown run. And the Giants have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. And that right there is the definition of a statement drive. You're in the fourth quarter, trying to get to the finish line. And here, they were able to hold the ball for a long time and move it down the field. And how about them finishing it off with the touchdown run? Winning football 101, check that box. Gano for the extra point. And the lead now to three touchdowns and 21 points. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it's capped off by a touchdown run from Saquon Barkley.
Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. This taken in at the goal line. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. Detroit's offense ready to take over. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're yeah, absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. So the completion results there in nine yards, and it'll bring up a second and short. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. Gone. He'll get this underneath to Montgomery. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Four yards the pick up, first down. Well, that was a pretty favorable situation there. What would you call that, second and manageable? Smart play, too. Didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it. Just checked it down, let him get the first down, and that's exactly what he did. Goff on first down. Montgomery, another target and catch. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. 15 yards for the Lions there on a first down. Offense for them has been at a premium. You wonder where plays like that have been all game long. They're thinking the exact same thing themselves, but they're also looking forward now because now these plays are really for next week, trying to get some momentum going. Again, golf. A little short pass here taken in by Laporta. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 ticks remaining on the clock. Second and two. A shotgun snap for Goff. Going underneath, Gibbs has it. And the Lions quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts. That'll be their third and final stoppage here as we step aside. So first and ten now from the 30. to throw. Goff. Reynolds with a catch out on the right side. The Lions passing game in sync now. They've got another first down. Well, this was a very close ball game at halftime, Charles, but in the second half, that offense kind of kicked things into another gear, and they were able to pull away for the victory. And Brandon, I think they're the type of team that just looked in the mirror and said, hey, ton of pressure on, but we're the type of team that can flat out handle it. They stood up, stood up with confidence, and made it happen for a victory. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gauden. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say so long, everyone, from Ford Field.